So we're going over here this morning to move the cows to a, another slice of oh, our one we're grazing stockpile. It's not a good stockpile. I've been getting a couple of days. Actually, I'm trying to go for three days in there in these little slices that are probably half to three quarters of an acre. And then I've been supplementing them with a half a roll of hay on the afternoon of the third day. And that kind of tides them over till the next morning when I can come up and move them. So there's the cows. Looks like uh, the biggest percentage of them are laying down, chewing their cuds. This is the uh, line fence, which is already set up for the next section of uh, grazing is already established. I've got a line fence down here going across this field down to a barbed wire fence. You can see there's a little green in there. They pick at it. There ain't none of them balling, so they're doing okay, I guess. You can see this is where I got it tied off to. This is a corner post I set up for having a gate on. So we'll go up here and drop this fence out of their way and they can move in here and eat on this for a couple of days and then I'll bring them, like I said, that half bale of hay up and they'll eat it. The only thing I'm not real pleased with is I've got this mineral block down here and they've really got the ground tore up there. I really don't know what else to do about it because no matter where you put a mineral block, the ground is going to get tore up. So I guess I'll just overseed this area this spring and let some new grass come up. There'll be some clover seed in there. That's the bull down there by the water station. And I've got a little hole right here that Apparently some critter decided to dig down there. I don't know if they've put a den in there or if they just kind of dug in there. So that's something I got to fill in. Actually, this is still a work in progress. This ditch line, I need to run the tiller up here and till this thing up to even it out a little bit. I think the ditch line will always kind of be there, but that's okay. All right, let's go move the wire for so this is the stockpile that the cows are kind of moving into i haven't got them in this one yet but i'm getting ready to set this one up for three days from now just a single wire this is what they've got to work with and they pick through it they find some grass here and there, you can kind of see it. So, I think they're happy enough. Nobody's thin. And the number four cow. We lost Ro her cow. That was Roscoe. Girls are 
actually looking pretty good. Now my plan is, I've been kind of kicking it around, I think is I've got about 18 more days in here. Um, so that'll be half a bale every three days. Three more bales of hay will be used in here. And I'm gonna move them over to paddock eight which is A, B, C, and D. That corner over there where the trees are at. They wintered in there last year. There's a little grass in there for them to pick at. So I think my plan is I'm gonna start rolling out a half a bale of hay every day for 30 days. That should get me, well, actually probably about 32 days. And that'll get me back over to paddock 1A. And then I'm gonna peel off my two bulls, the bull calf plus Buster and put them in that West goat lot over there. They'll stay there till July 1st. And I'm going to move this herd down into the small hay field and let them finish up in there until April the 1st. And then I'll supplement that down there with hay, which will help fertilize our hay fields. And uh, that'll put the two herds back together, the yearling heifers, along with last year's heifer calves, and my cows and then hopefully by April 1st the grass will start to green up and I can start rotating the cows through I'll still supplement them until my hay is gone well not completely gone because I got to keep hold back some bales for the horse and the bull but other than that I think that's my plan We'll see how that works. I'll probably have to modify it as we go along. So. So this is the condition that you'll find that stockpile in after they've grazed in here for three days. You can see they've got manure patty and they've made it down pretty good I mean it's not down to the nubbins but it's down to about uh, two to three inches maybe there's some four inches in some areas but I'm not putting a back fence up so they got free range of going back and pick at whatever's left out there and uh I'm going to continue to roll out some hay for them as we go along. So that's my plan. Well, I got the next fence up. Didn't take long at all. And I'm using these, uh, they're basically uh, cord reels. I get them from Home Depot. I think they're, I don't know, they're less than $3. Um, and they work pretty good. I mean, a little slow on the real side, but and uh, but as you can see, all I do is just stretch that wire, wrap it around the hot wire one time, and just let her hang. So, works good for me. I do have one of the Gallagher reels that I'm using also, so I'm using both types. Well, we made a move this afternoon. I gave him another all 45, 50 feet, I guess it is. <clears throat> Down over the hillside, and that's so probably 300 feet, maybe a little more. So it's a little over half an acre, probably. Number one cow, she's heavy.
you can see there's a little bit of green in here. It got rain coming in overnight, so I gave him this new paddock. We don't have a back fence yet. I just, this is the winter grazing field for them. I cut hay on it in the summertime. I guess that was probably about mid-June. And then we got the drought, so we didn't get a lot of regrowth, but there's Buster. He sure does enjoy this fresh grass. Well, I thought I'd just take a real quick video here and show you what we have. It's the uh, oh, 19th again? No, 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 no. 17th of January. And I've got probably three, maybe four more days in here. I'm hoping to get five. I'll probably leave them five, give them a little extra hay, and then let them just forage in here for what they can find before I move them over to here. On this side of the wire, and there really isn't much in here, but this will begin the rotation, my winter rotation through the grazing paddocks. And uh, the idea is they'll be in here for a day. They'll get a half a bale of hay. And then I'll move them to the next paddock. They'll be in there a day. I'll give them a half a bale of hay. And then they'll go through all the paddocks, which should be about 26 of them. And I'll use 13 bales of hay to get them through it in 26 days, which will put me into the last part of February. Well, you all have a blessed day and We'll give you another video here in a few days.